Alright, what do we got here? Homicide. Looks professional. Yeah, we'll draw the conclusions around here, officer. Thank you. Any witnesses? Uh, a couple of people heard the shots. Uh, saw a car pull away, but nobody saw it go down. Sure, this guy is dead. I could have sworn I heard some breathing. So you're Horace Winston. Got a gold card, Horace. And a visa. And a diner's club. Hey, I like to entertain. How do you explain this? A really bad haircut. Now, son, we really don't care how you got the wallet. What we're interested in is a murder. So why don't you just tell me everything you saw? Nothing. Now, can I go? Look, kid, it's not very nice for little boys like you to tell lies. Now, if you don't cooperate with me, I could be very hard on you. I could phone your parents. I could get you expelled from school. But you know what the worst thing I could do to you? Sit on me. You see? You want this to get nasty? Oh! Oh, my eye! My eye! That hurts! <laughs> Great. Gannon, you look like crap. What's the matter? Rehab not working out? Hey, speaking of not working out, huh? Yeah, you're real funny, pal. All right, knock it off. Norm, Green and Murdoch here are working on the homicide of a John Doe, and we have a potential witness that needs protection. Ah, oh, murder witness, sure, okay. Where is he? What? Oh, not the kid. It's only till we ID him and find his family. I'm not gonna put him in lockup overnight. Overnight? No, look, I don't know anything about kids. I don't babysit him. No, no, no. Look, I, Norm Gannon will only stoop so low. All right, listen up, people. Our number one priority today is to find this boy especially before the press gets hold of it, and we end up looking like a bunch of... Bunch of Norm Gannons? <laughs> All right, Green and Murdoch, they're gonna be spearheading the operation. We're gonna hit every train station, bus station, homeless shelter, child aid center. Won't work. Well, Norm Gannon, you made roll call. To what do we owe this great pleasure? Well, just to tell you, you won't find the kid this way. Look, I know, I know, my credibility is running Pretty low right now. But I do know this kid better than anyone else around here. And I gotta tell you, your chances of finding this kid in a hostel or a, a, a shelter about as, as good as finding a lean cuisine in Murdoch's freezer. <laughs> Look, this kid, he knows how to get his hands on money. He travels strictly first class. So, if it was me, I'd started anything with five stars in front of it, work down from there. That is how you're gonna find this kid. Okay, okay, we got something. He was at the Bedford Hotel, registered under the name of Skip Rockefeller, paid in cash, $100 bills, told the desk clerk his dad was coming in the next day. But I just missed him. Anyway, I found out his initials, N.T. He left them on a video game he was playing. All right, why don't you run that over to missing persons, see what their fancy computers can come up with. Hey, detective. Good job. Play dumb. You don't know anything. Hello. Nathan. Hi, sweetheart. How are things? Uh-huh. Well, that's good. Well, I miss you. What you been up to? What are you doing here? I'm working. What's with you? I think the better question is, what's up with you, Murdoch? What are you talking about? Your top drawer. I understand that's where you keep Benoit's little presents. Are you crazy? Again, yeah, you've been hitting the sauce because you're not making any sense. Open it up. Get out of here. I said, open it up. Get in it. Wait one minute. Open it up. What do we got here? Hey, what's going on here? He's working with Benoit. I swear, I don't know how to get my draw. What do you want to? You're under arrest, Jabba. Hey, look, I don't have to take the... Maybe I'm not as dumb as I look, huh? Or maybe you just are. 